Welcome to week two of Les Lessons from Laurentian. This week we're going to talk all about phonology. Uh, my friend John Latimer defines phonology as the rhythmic, biological nature of events as they relate to climate. <laughs> my dog is really interested in phonology, by the way. So to put it simply, phonology is observing nature as the seasons change. One simple way to observe nature is to find a sit spot. This is simply a place where you go every day, or every week if that works better, to observe what is happening. Once you settle into your spot, it takes just a few minutes for things to get comfortable with you being there, and they return back to normal. Even something as simple as looking out the window at a bird feeder while you eat breakfast can clue you in onto the seasonal changes. One of the things you can do every day is get out and, and walk the same trail, uh, explore the same area, keeping your eyes open for observations of new things. Uh, my dog and I, we do this every morning. So one of the reasons that uh, phonology is even studied is it, it helps us to understand the big picture of what's going on with climate change. Um, phonologists, people who actually study phonology, uh, they've been tracking it for sometimes 30, 40, 50 years. And uh, they, they can see that on April 4th, uh, 20 years ago, you know, we still had a foot of snow on the ground. How is it today? Um, maybe it was a little bit different on uh, 18 years ago. Maybe it was a warm spring. And we noticed that there was a, a little blip in the, in the records because all the snow was gone. Um, phonology and studying um, phonology just helps us to understand how things change and the timing around it. A phonology journal is a place so you can keep a permanent record from year to year of your observations. Take this with you when you go out to your sit spot or on your walk so you can keep track of the events of the day. When we talk about climate change, uh, climate is different than the weather. Um, way to, a simple way to think about it. Um, if we talk about the weather, that's what am I going to wear today? What are my clothes that I'm going to put on today? Um, you know, it's just a, a short snippet of what's going on. The climate would be your entire wardrobe. Um, we have clothes for, for springtime. We have clothes for summer. We have clothes for fall. We have clothes for winter. We've got a, a huge selection. That's what climate is. It's, it's our entire wardrobe. Um, weather is just what I choose today. Um, so there's a difference between climate and weather and I think that's important to understand as we get into the idea of phonology. Uh, what we want to be looking at today is what are some things that, that might be happening this spring. Uh, during this pandemic you can go outside and you can be observant. You can start to notice the signs that spring is coming or that summer has arrived. Um, and, and nature is going to tell us a lot about that. There's lots of different things in the natural world that we can be paying attention to that are indicators that our, our seasons are changing, that are, uh, we're, we're moving into the, the next phase. Um, so without any further ado, let's get into some of this topic.
One question I was asked was if a flower is blooming in the Twin Cities, will it be blooming on that same day up at Laurentian? Well, we can understand this by looking at Hopkins' law, which was developed in the year 1918 by observing the dates when apple blossoms bloomed around the nation. This law states that seasonal changes are a day off for every 15 minutes of latitude, or it's about 17 and a quarter miles to north or south, uh, or for every degree of longitude, which is about 37 miles east or west. There is also a day difference for every 100 feet in elevation change, up or down. So for those of you in the Twin Cities, events you witness today will not happen at LEC for approximately 11 and a half days. Well, thanks for watching this segment on phenology. If you want to stay involved or get, learn more about phenology, check out our links below. Uh, we'll have some good resources for you there. Next week, when you tune in, it'll be a session on mammals of Minnesota. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss a segment. And everybody be safe out there.